Living okay? Yeah. You're alive. Oh, got to hide the box. Hide the box. Oh. All right. Hi, I, Sam. Uh, wanna... My dad is in here already? Yeah. Oh. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining this live stream this evening. We have a lot to talk about and little time to do it. So let's get in with saying hi to everyone. Um, also, hi to dad. He's on here. Probably my mom's on here. I know her mom's on here and your sister and everybody. So hello. <clears throat> um, let's just start out with I know a lot of you guys have been wondering about dad. Um, some people seen our Facebook posts. He won't. I'll do it later. We know that. Dad, um, this is the, the live stream's crooked and it's driving me nuts. Uh, no, um, it's not. It's not? No, we're straight on here. All right, cool. But Eric said to t make sure that you put the light away. <laughs> that probably won't happen, but I'll. I'll end up um, doing it. Dad is okay. Um, if you guys see my Facebook post, uh, just on some of the comments that I was making, um, some of you guys knew that dad was in the hospital. He is out now. Um, just a bad case of pneumonia. And with him being um, with his lungs and everything, pretty much not bedridden, but not able to get around as, as good. Um, it really took him down. So he's better now. And uh, he's at home feeling a lot, good, a lot better, a lot gooder. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, thank you guys for your concerns about dad. And um, from here, I want to talk about what's going to happen in the next week. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it. Lindsay's going to talk about it. She's, uh, she's the one that does very... Very gooder. Very gooder at talking. Um, so uh, a few things. Eric is on here. Hello, Eric. Um, We've got something in the works with Eric for the end of next week. Um, I know that I saw Britain is on here, so Depths of History. Depths of History, so Britain and Colson will be joining us this coming week. We're going to talk about that. And then I also saw Corey, Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle is in here. Corey will be joining us, as well as Depths of History, for um, for April. our big trip in April. Um, but we're... we're we're not talking about that yet. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> but I do see a lot of people in here. So thank you all for joining. Um, the purpose of this live stream is to talk about what is coming up for us in the next week. We got a tip about Ryan Taylor. As many of you know, we have worked on the Ryan Taylor case f since 2000 and. 21 end of yeah. 2021 or beginning of 2022 we've worked on the ryan taylor case we've been back uh four times now five times something like that um again ryan taylor's family is now family to us um you know we've gone back and forth a lot about the different things different every time we've gone down there something has come out whether it's a tip to law enforcement a tip to the family tips to us places to search um, people who kind of know who's involved in Ryan's case, um, you know, hey, I, I know that these people used to hang out here or there or whatever. So um, we got a tip that there is possibly a car um, or what is believed to possibly be a vehicle um, in, in, uh, in one of the creeks down there. In talking with Britain... When uh, Britain was down there with us last time, we had gone back over with Britain and kind of mapped where we think this person is kind of like, we've kind of narrowed it down. Like they've given us, you know, hey, if you go to this spot, you know, this landmark and it's in the creek here. So we talked with Britain. It was in an area that Britain was unable to search um, just due to time constraints and then the chaos that rubbed off on Britain. Um, you know, Britain... Say that together. He had what <laughs> that you rubbed sad. off on Britain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that your bad luck rubbed yeah, off on Britain? Yeah. 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 Um, 
so, you know, again, in talking with Britton, this was an area that he wasn't able to, to search when he was down there with us. So we, we contacted law enforcement. Um, we let them know the family has been notified as well. So we are going to, um, we're going to head down there on Monday. We're going to drive down Monday. It's about seven to eight hours, depending on traffic and stops and stuff like that. Um, this time we are taking my truck and the boat. Um, the RV, we're doing some maintenance and stuff and it's just not road ready right now. So it's easier instead of trying to just throw stuff together in the RV to get it repaired quickly and half-assed, I guess. And I, I know I'm not supposed to swear, but I don't know any other word. Um, <laughs> You're on one tonight. But I don't know if I want to talk it anymore. Instead God. of, um, instead of, you know, taking the RV down and it not being ready to, to go, we're going to take the truck down. Um, Britton and Colson are going to meet us over there. We are going to, uh, we're all going to meet up Monday. I believe the, uh, the family will probably meet up with them either Monday or Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, we're going to go search this area. Um, if it is not a vehicle or if it is a vehicle, but it's not Ryan, then that leaves us Wednesday to search as well. So again, Britton and Colson are gonna be there with us. They've been down there with us, I think two or three of the times and we've been there. Four or five uh, times. Four I or think. five times, maybe even more than that. Cause there's been, uh, you know, a couple times, but the reason that it's so important for us to get down there is because this family has waited long enough for answers. So if we can get down there and we can provide something to them, whether it is or isn't Ryan, at least that kind of puts them at ease until we can actually get down there and search again, you know, in a, in a full capacity manner. Um, but this is important to us. We want to get down there. The weather here in Illinois, it's getting cold. It is going to be, I think they're calling for like single digits next week. So I know it's going to be cold down in Mississippi a day or two as well. But before things get too rough here to where we can't get out, then, you know, we, again, we want to get down there. We want to help them as quickly as possible. You know, they've, They've been incredibly kind to us. You know, they're always welcoming, welcoming us with open arms. So we want to, we want to get down there and help Ryan's family as, as soon as possible. Um, but after that, so either Wednesday evening or Thursday night, some of you guys may know Eric, my husband, ride or dive. Eric's cousin, Sean, has gone missing. At first, it was just us getting the information out and sharing information. And I believe Eric's going to do a live stream update. Um, Eric, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know that we had talked about that. Just going back over, we've been able to kind of narrow down Sean's timeline. We've been able to get more information, different things that we're kind of able to piece together in the right areas now. So Eric is going to do an update on, on that. I know that today, um, Lauderdale County Sheriff's Department and Lauderdale County's Emergency Management uh, Group and their recovery group, uh, remains were found. So that's something that the family is waiting, like I just found out about this probably, you know, 30, 40 minutes before um, we started this live stream. However, Going off of the fact that, that that could or could not be Sean, we also have found out that Sean potentially had access to, was purchasing, borrowing a Volkswagen van, right? It was Volkswagen. Yeah. A Volkswagen van. If Sean did have access to that, then that kind of puts us back in the game as far as helping. Um, so after we leave Columbus, we're going to take the... 50 minute drive down to Meridian, Mississippi, and search Bonita Lakes. Bonita Lakes is within walking distance. I wanna say it's like a mile or so around that from uh, Sean's ex-girlfriend's house. We do believe that Sean made it to Mississippi because she's put him being at her home in Mississippi. So I don't know why she would lie about him being there 
um, that it doesn't, it should, just doesn't gel for her to lie about that. Um, cause if he never made it there, then she would, she would say that to, you know, I just, again, if Sean had access to a vehicle, um, it, again, we, it allows us now to be a part of the search. So we're going to go search, uh, Bonita Lakes for Sean. Um, this is probably, this is definitely one of those moments where like, I, I hope to baby Jesus that we do not find anything. Um, I don't, I don't want to have to be the one to make that phone call. I don't want to be the one to make the phone call anytime. I, I mean, I usually am, uh, but this one definitely because it hits close to home. Um, and then after that, we're meeting up with Eric for, um, you know, something else that we have in the works, uh, separate from, you know, Ryan and Sean and searching. So, um, but yeah, so Monday we are heading down to Columbus, Mississippi in hopes to find Ryan Taylor. Uh, from there, we'll head over to, uh, Meridian, uh, meet up with Eric and then back home for, for the weekend. So all of that said, um, you know, we're going to have a full week's worth of, of searching. Um, I'm going to be happy to see Depths of History again, him and, uh, you know, <clears throat> Britton and Colston. Um, also, when we have been back for Ryan's case, you know, the, fam the family is pretty much family to us. So it's amazing to see them again. But also, Parker Brothers Towing is going to be there every step of the way. Um, you know, Jace and, and his dad, Kyle, have been amazing to us. Um, they've even housed um, Britton and Colston for the week that we were down there. Um, they're just amazing people. So they're going to be with us in that. Um, and Lauderdale County. Jacob just doesn't mention them. Well, that's expected. I'm sorry. Lauderdale County <laughs> has been with us from the beginning. Lauderdale County, everybody there has been perfect to us. Even the, even the sheriff, um, they trust us in what we're doing. And I would say when we need them, they're there for us. Lauderdale County is pretty close to Jefferson County. Um, in, our, in my mind and in my heart, same with Jacob, as far as their willingness to help us get what we need to help them. Um, in their support for us, um, you know. So, uh, the Lauderdale or Lowndes County, not Lauderdale County. I'm pretty sure I said Lauderdale County. You did not Lauderdale County. No, no. I said Lauderdale County too, didn't I? Lowndes County. It. Lowndes County is is Miss Lauderdale County is Meridian, Mississippi, and. Are you sure? What are you smiling about? My mom said, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. What do you mean? Lauderdale County. Oh. They've been less than helpful um, okay. with, with Sean. Yeah. That's all. Okay, I got you. I understand now. I, I didn't figure it. I forgot. Took you a minute? Took me a minute. Um, <laughs> so, Lowndes County has been amazing with us like you know we even i'm just gonna say it um the county is awesome the city sucks um we actually got pulled over but Lowndes county got us out yeah um i had a, a light missing or a light out or something um the county just flat out amazing can't speak enough about them um the sheriff down there. Uh, I'm sorry, we're. Mind your business. Okay. <laughs> the sheriff down there has been awesome. So, anyway, guys, 
A lot of people ask, how can we help and do all that stuff? On the top, there's pinned comments. I, I'm waving around a knife, sorry. You're really bad about that. <laughs> ask Eric. I was gonna say, I was, I was apologizing to Eric for waving a knife around his wife. Um, well, last time it was him. <laughs> so, there's a pinned comment up there. Um, with the GoFundMe guys, I know we have quite a few of them and they come in super handy for consolidating and for you guys to know exactly how much we have received in donations, how much that we need, and how much has been giving, uh, given. So, awesome. Um, since we aren't going to take the RV, we are going to have to get hotel rooms for Britton, I, Lindsay, and Colston. We're also going to be, you know, obviously gas, but we're going to be using the truck. Um, and there's two new tires that need to be put on the trailer on the boat because it's showing belting. Um, that boat and those tires had, how many miles have we put on that this past year? <laughs> Tons. So, um, the two other tires are actually newer than the other two because of, uh, of a turn that, um, popped the tires. So that's, that's whatever. Um, so we gotta, we gotta place those other two and then we'll be golden. Um, we're going to get, we're going to get everything lubed up. Um, ready for the trip. We just got her oil changed and uh, we're ready. We're going <coughs> to go down there. Hopefully we'll find this uh, anomaly in the water and, and see if we can't bring Ryan home. The location of the area is just a couple miles from, from the potential last known, right? For which one? Ryan. Oh, for Ryan. Yeah, so if it is Ryan's vehicle... Um, it would be less than two miles, I think, from one of Ryan's suspected last known locations. Um, it's one of those spots where um, if, you know, if uh, kind of like scenario A happened to Ryan, he would have been here. If scenario B happened to Ryan, it would have been here. Um, you know, there's all these different things that have, been told or been said like what happened to Ryan. So um, this is one of those where like, it's one of, you know, it fits into one of those scenarios and it does fit you, uh, or excuse me, does fit into like, it would have been, I think within, within two miles, less than two miles, I think. Like within, uh, probably even a mile. Very, 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 very potential spot. And that's the reason why we're going down there as quick as we are. Um, we do have them planned on coming back if Ryan's not been found, which Lindsay had already mentioned. Um, I've spoke to Carly and I've spoke to, to her mom and to everyone. They know we'll be back. We don't give up on families. Um, once we're working on your case, unless your lost loved one has not been brought home, we're still working. Um, we're still going to try our best. I think everybody and anybody can tell you from experience on the people that we've helped that we will be back until their lost loved one is found. Um, go ahead. I can't do that while you're there, can I? Do what? I needed to add some things in mine. Uh, I think you can. I can't do it. You can? Only you can. Oh. Why is Cooper not on there? I don't know. Well, give me a second, guys. Um, she'll talk to me. you, and I'll, I'll just go ahead and make him. Cooper, go ahead and say something again so I can see your comment on here, and I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to be messing with the phone. Um, Kenny Loudermilk has not been located as of yet. Um, that's another one where... Um... Well, I've lost all my chats. No, I haven't. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> There, he just said something. Um, Ellsworth, tell her thank you so much. That's so sweet of her. Like, um, if you guys don't know, Ellsworth, Car Ellsworth Carl on here, um, he has got some of the... I think, I'm, I think I did that right. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Um, some of the sweetest girls. And whenever they do any kind of uh, fundraiser or anything like that, they, they're always so sweet to think of us. So... Um, we we Sorry. absolutely love and adore those girls. So, and I'm pretty sure, um, 
which one's going to marry Eric? I don't remember. One of the girls has a huge crush on Eric, <laughs> and she can have him. But, yeah, Ellsworth Carl's girls are, they're absolutely phenomenal girls. We, we just love them. Lacey. Lacey. I couldn't remember which one. I was like, I know. Well, she went from me to now to him. So I'm like, all right, well. You're okay. old news. Eric is in. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, so again, you know, we'll recap again at the end. But we are going down Monday. We are searching. Corey didn't need any more power. His head is big enough. Leslie said that. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, we're going down Monday. We're going to be searching Tuesday if... It is not Ryan. We do have that additional day in Wednesday to search again, um, you know, further our efforts in that same area. Uh, from there, we will head down to Meridian, Mississippi, search Bonita Lakes in the event, and hopefully that the remains found today in Lauderdale were not Sean's. Um, still we'll hope just, that he's, he's still alive and yeah. just lost. Sean is, is very much kind of that... Um, vagabond gypsy lifestyle, um, but there's just a lot of things that even um, even Sean wouldn't go this long without contacting family. Um, you know, birthdays, Christmases, or birthdays, holidays, all that have passed, and and no words. So, Hal and Bricks. I know that we're just kind of skipping it through here, but I don't want to forget about this. Um, he asked, he or she, is it Hallie? Holland. Holland, Holland Bricks. Oh, gotcha. Uh, asked how it was finding the fellow in Pittsburgh. So that was Todd DeMeno. Um, Doug and I went out. Doug had found some vehicles. He found over 100 and asked if we could help. And so we drove four and a half hours to Pittsburgh to dive on this. When we dove on the vehicle, I take every vehicle and do the best searching that I can possibly in that vehicle. I'm expecting to find something, someone. So when I go in there, I make sure everything's clear. Um, so when I did see um, Todd Domino in there, um, I was shocked at first only because I stuck my head in the window um, and looked over. But from there, it was a beautiful feeling to bring somebody home. So, I mean, we do what we got to do, and well, that's about it. It's it's a, it's a feeling that you don't, it sucks, but you don't want to give it up because now somebody has answers. Okay, so we're going to leave some questions at the end um, that we can get to. I did see a couple other questions I'll get to whenever we get this done. Do we have anything else to talk about what we got um, going forth right now I don't think so. as you guys know it takes an army to do this you guys are the army you guys are helping us out um, even with the GoFundMe there's also ways that you can help out through PayPal through Venmo everybody's been dropping links guys it's amazing for your guys's help there's also you can go to chaosdivers.com you will see our sponsors and one of those sponsors are that of Brute Magnetics. Brute Magnetics has been with us since the beginning. Clay and the, and the people over there have been super amazing. Um, I want to show you guys what Clay sent me. Now this... What? Away from you. Away from you. Away from you. You are one to speak. At least I know knife safety, Jacob Grubbs. Not towards me. Get out of the way. So anyway... <clears throat> Ooh, my daddy. It was over here. Oh, I couldn't find it, so I'm just going for it, okay? Oh, it's chaos. So put, put that down. Shush, I'm still opening it. I'm glad you're here. So anyway, let me tell you a little bit about this. This product here is an amazing, amazing magnet. Now, this is a used magnet, but... Clay called me and said, dude, I got this magnet. You got to have it. Um, he asked us if we had one. I said, absolutely not. He said, dude, you're missing out. I'm like, okay. So this is a used product, but this is the first time I got to see it. So this, oh man, I feel how heavy that thing. Well, you're not the one who has to lift it up and down. 
So this is the 360 Brute Magnetic uh, Boss. It's called the Boss. It'll be in the link in the description. Guys, these are a sponsor, so yes, I, I do get a percentage of the sale. So it is helping out the, uh, well, the cause. Important than, yes, like they're a sponsor. Like, Brute Magnetics has been with Jacob since the beginning. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, there's a sponsor. Like, Clay and Jacob are friends. They. I want um, to show them something after. Go ahead. Uh, you know, like, Brute's been with us. Well, been with Jacob from the get, and then, um, you know, so it's it's just nice to see that continuing through. So, you see all of this? I pulled this off of the counter. Where is it? I don't know. Either. Well, maybe it'll pick this up. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not a knife. Maybe, yeah. Maybe uh, not a knife. Give me a second. Give me a second. So I pulled it off of the, uh, y'all, I don't even know. I pulled it off the desk. I wish to show you how powerful this thing is. You've seen the amount of magnets. So that magnet's probably right here. That's going through a lot. So anyway, 3,500 pull magnet. We got that. Um, the 360 is going to allow us because there's sometimes where we put the the magnet sideways or up and down. Um, our best way to do it is get right on top of the vehicle and drop it straight down. But with this, anywhere we get that magnet, is going to stick. This is a here fishy fishy. That was Eric's. Yep. Fish and lure. All right, so that's that. Um, so without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to do what we do you know, without you guys. Um, <clears throat> again, heading down there, we are not taking the RV. Um, we're, uh, Jacob's been working on, there's some things that we needed to repair on it. Um, I got to replace the toilet and I got to replace the tires. Yeah, just, just normal like wear and tear things, things that would need to be you know, address regardless. So um, nothing wrong with the RV by any means. Again, it's just normal wear and tear stuff. So, um, you know, going to get those things fixed, but we're in the middle of doing all of that. So it's just not road ready. So we'll be taking the truck down. Uh, taking the truck down also means not taking Maverick. So Colston, please don't be sad. Um, He'll get over it. He'll spend just, a lot of time with him next yeah. in April. <laughs> so... Um, I, I think that that's, uh, I think that's most everything that we wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about, um, you know, going down Monday, searching for Ryan in the event that it is not Ryan, we'll know that on Tuesday. Um, if it's not Ryan, then, um, you know, we do have that extra kind of day built in, um, to continue on in that area. Again, this is an area that after kind of narrowing it down from you know what we were given as far as, hey, there's a car here, it is in an area that Britain was not able to search last time just due to time constraints. And then um, you know, as they were heading back, they had that small snafu happen. And... Um, Cut away from, oh, okay, Boy Scout groups. I so he, again, it was in an area that Britain just was able wasn't able to to search. So we contacted law enforcement. You know the family is aware as well. We we talked to them, um, let them know. So we are we're leaving Monday. Um, we will be gone until uh, next Friday or Saturday. We should be home. Gonna go do go do Ryan's cases, and then. Uh, or Ryan's case, not Ryan's cases, Ryan's case for a couple of days and then go on to uh, search for Sean, Eric's cousin. And again, I believe Eric's going to be doing a live stream this weekend, kind of updating everybody on everything that we have and uh, just narrowing down, going back over the information, just continuing to get the word out about Sean. So we're looking for a Ford Fiesta with, with Ryan Taylor. Um, we have searched... 
If, if I say 60 ponds and rivers, I'm probably underestimating. We have so many videos of Ryan that I haven't even gotten out. Um, I do want to start working on them. Um, we have been getting other stuff out. If you guys haven't checked our Facebook out, guys, that's, that's one way to, to support us also. Um, you know, watching those videos on there and stuff like that. Um, so somebody had asked if we were going to be doing a live search for Ryan or Sean. Um, in the area that Ryan or that will be for Ryan, there's no cell phone service. Uh, Britain had actually attempted to do a live stream last time when he was searching that area. There's no cell phone service. So um, if it is Ryan, we will do a live stream probably that night or the following day just to update all of you guys. Um, but it, we probably won't be able to. Um, I don't know if we'll do one for Sean. Um, if we have signal, I guess. Yeah, that be, just be, a, yeah, it just depends on because of uh, what's Eric's in that area. not being with us, and and you know maybe we can maybe we can do it. Just depends. It was a question about. Well, I told you I was going to get to the well to answer your question, Corey. I'll be calling you on that. We did get the remote. Um, he's about talking about the tailgate that I've been working on for a while now. Um, so the little buddy is going to have an advancement. Some of you guys seen it on Facebook. Some of you guys seen the shorts. I did put an actuator on the tra tailgate. Um, I since then put two actuators on it. So it will go down and up easy. We put a speed control switch on it. We put a, um, an RC battery on it. What's up? And then now we've got the remote. All I got to do is just bind it in, and it's done. So go ahead. Basically what he's saying is there's a lot of things to just make it go. Now. You done? <laughs> the reason why I have thought about this is because... There's a lot of times I can't get that heavier boat down the side of a bridge where it's like straight up and down. If you guys have watched or seen um, searching, searching in New York for Guy Pike, me and, <laughs> well, just me. Anthony, I'll answer you in just a second. I fell in the water like three or four times. Um, in this case, we can drop it over the bridge, drop it all the way down, take the remote, open the tailgate, send the boat off, go search, Come back, put the boat back on the trailer, and lift it back up. Boom. Done. Great. Hello, Moto. Um, so, as far as updates... Alicia? Meh. Yeah. She asked me how that went. I know. Uh, so, as far as updates on Joel Moore, um, it's one of those ones that, you know, we continue to work as, you know, when we're home. Um, the last month or so... Us being home, we haven't done anything. <laughs> we really haven't. But not because we didn't want to do anything. But, like, you know, we were going through the holidays. We had, um, you know, we had Garrett's birthday at the end of October. We had Halloween. And then came Thanksgiving, uh, my birthday. We had Jacob's family's Christmas party. We had our Christmas, my mom's birthday, family's, you know what I mean? Like, we really took the last couple of months to actually just be home. We took the last few months just to spend with our families and just kind of get back to some kind of normalcy. We are going to, um, we're home until April. That's when our next big trip takes place. Now, again, we are going to do things like this where, you know, we go down to Columbus for a week because we have, you know, we have a tip. Um, if somebody... You know, somebody called, then, you know, we would go help if we could. Um, if it's something we can help with. So, it's, it's, we're home, but we're, we're ready to go if we need to. Um, but next big plan isn't until April, and we're kind of just looking forward to. <laughs> so many people want to know how that gate works again, Jacob. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, He's a bath. Yeah. <sighs> Um, so again, just, uh, you know, just kind of being home, like 
I have been able to go through and declutter a lot of my house. Um, you know, Jacob's got to spend a lot of time with his kids. Um, just, just being home has been kind of nice. So, uh, being gone as much as we have, guys, it's oh, all right. All right, Mav, you're gonna. So we, or do you want to answer? Are you still talking? I, I was, but you've interrupted me several times. So go ahead. Hey, I get yelled at a lot for that. I've, I have a lot of people come at me and say, don't interrupt him. You're so mean. I'm very mean to you. <laughs> guys, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't get a lot of stuff done. So she's staying around. So you guys just got to get used to it. Um, so somebody said, if anybody can answer this, I was just wondering when you travel to very cold areas, how much does the dry suit protect you from the temperatures of the water? I can, we can dive in zero degree water. Um, there's different grains of underlayers that you that you wear. Um, I've dove in the ice. Eric's dove in the ice. Eric dove in the ice to um, recover um, little beaver from the Mississippi River. The only thing that really gets cold on you, um, other than we don't have a full face mask, is uh, just like your cheeks. Um, it's very invigorating, to say the least. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I mean, if you got the if you got the gloves on, you could stay underwater for well, not hours, but you could stay underwater for a while and not be cold. Um, so somebody asked Eric what town and state. I think they're talking about where Sean went missing from. Sean went missing from Meridian, Mississippi. That is the last known place that we believe he was. Um, somebody else asked a question. Um, any update on the Demetria Watson case? A lot of the things that have been going on with the Demetria Watson case uh, have been more ground searching. Um, you know, every time something is found, it's heartbreaking to see, you know, her family have to wonder if it's her and then kind of finding out that it's not. So um, I do want to send my condolences out to to their family. You know, they, they just lost, uh, Demetria's mother just passed. Um, so Dang. I didn't know that heartbreaking to, you know, to know that, um, she didn't get to know what happened to her, but I do believe that they're, they're together now and they're both okay. So, um, so somebody asked us if we have any cases in Alabama, um, not currently, um, April, I'm not for sure exactly. I mean, I know our plans, but we were just going over what we're doing this week. And that'll be planned for another yeah. another case. Um, we have cases all over. There's really not many states that we don't have cases in. We've actually worked several cases in Alabama. Uh, we just don't have any plans this year to return to Alabama. Hands do get cold when there's when there's uh, holes in the glove. Absolutely. It's very cold when Jacob does the seals. I only messed up once. I'm still apologizing um, for it. If Sean is missing in a vehicle, it has been said that he had access to a Volkswagen van. Now we aren't sure if he was purchasing that or if he was borrowing it or what his connection is to it, but it has come out that there was a lot of talk that that Sean had talked about getting this Volkswagen van. So um, not sure if it's something where he was supposed to pick it up when he went back to Meridian to get his stuff and that's how he was gonna be bringing his stuff back to California or what. Um, because from what we understand, he did not buy a round trip ticket uh, from California to Mississippi and then back. So <laughs> energy drinks on me. Hey, thanks, Cooper. Uh, whoever whoever is donated on top of that did like the stickers and the uh, super chats. I've missed them. I'm sorry. I appreciate all of you guys doing that. If you guys want to become members? That's a monthly type deal. We get it at the end of the month when we get paid from YouTube, and that's another way. Or just simply watching, watching and liking. Um, Sunny, uh, we're starting out in Iowa in April, so I need to make sure that I get with you and that, um, we can coordinate something with you. Not sure what that was. Um, are you able to come to search in Canada? That is supposed to be our fall trip. Again, there's still a lot that's got to go into that. So, um, Kay Culp, any in Minnesota? Uh, that's also on our spring trip. With <clears throat> a lot of people ask me because 
<laughs> Whenever I hold my camera on my head, where is that coming from? Alexa, stop. It's the Alexa. Alexa, stop playing music. Garrett, can you go push pause on that? I don't know why she's playing music. Okay, continue. People are asking questions. What was I talking about? The camera on your head. Oh, I breathe heavily. It's just me. Nothing to worry about. I'm healthy. I did get COVID a few years ago. I haven't been able to fully get lung function, but I can do anything anybody else can. I just breathe heavily, so it's okay. Um, somebody asked if your berries get cold. Uh, my berries do not get cold unless I leave my zipper up, open. And I've done that. When we were recovering Charles Hanlon's truck, I had diesel fuel on me, so I took a dive, but I went to pee before, and I forgot to I forgot to zip my zipper, and I jumped in the water, but I found out really quickly that it was open. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so other than that, I can do anything anybody else can do. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to probably get a lot of people with this. Okay? Hopefully it doesn't set mine off. Hey Siri, subscribe to Chaos Divers. Yeah, okay, cool. You're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh -huh. cool. if anybody That's has cool. any questions, we can we can go over those now. Again, as far as Sean is concerned, I know that again, I think Eric, I'm almost positive, Eric has every intention to do a live stream this coming weekend just to update on everything we know about Sean and his disappearance, um, everything that we can put out there. So, but we are going to go search for Sean um, at those lakes uh, uh, this coming week. We're, we're going to be within like a, within an hour's drive. So we want to do that. One part of the lake, we can put the boat in the other, other part of the lake. We're going to do with a little buddy. Um, but almost 360 around this lake, um, there is access, not just the boat ramp, not just the parking lot. Like there's access almost all the way around this lake. So we want to make sure that we are you know, we search it in its entirety, both parts of it. There is a levee in between it. So we can only, again, we can only search the one side with the boat and then we'll throw the little buddy in on the other side with the tailgate. I like, I like that tailgate. No, I'm glad. That makes me happy. <sighs> There's been many and many a times I fell in the water. So if I can just push the trailer if into the water. We can just push you in the water? And then open it. It'll be like, and it'll be cool. It'll be cool to see. I, I think it's neat. Now all we do is get a remote control car to pull the remote control boat. Um, so you completely agree. Ivy, me. yeah, I do. Um, Ivy, everyone that we've recovered, with the exception of Jacob's very first recovery that was not recorded, not anything, um, has been in the vehicle. Um, we do not or we try to not ever have to remove someone from the vehicle it's always best if we can keep them in and keep everything intact and then when it's uh, uh, everything's above surface then it can be taken and then law enforcement and the coroner and all of that can um, can remove any remains properly um, and do a proper investigation so we don't remove anyone from the vehicle um, or we never have. We've been asked to, but we've always been able to uh, let them know that it's best that we don't. If the windows are down, we can net the windows, tarp the windows, something like that, but we always try to keep them inside. So They're, they're already secured in there. Why, why take a chance? Yeah. Um, you know, there's a, <coughs> there's a lot of... I just want to say hi to, to 3 a.m. Forge. Uh, haven't seen him in a while here. Um, guys, all your questions are going to be hopefully answered tonight. Um, we are going to take a little bit more time to answer. Um, I do feel like we've been gone a long time. 
Um, I know you guys have seen some videos come out. I have been editing, um, but we've been super busy since we've been off and uh, we're ready to get back on it. Ready to bring, you know, I'm ready to bring Ryan home. I want to visit the family because I want to visit the family and not for this, this, this issue or this um, case. Kay Culp, she is actually on our list for our spring trip. If you go on to chaosdivers.com, in the bottom right hand corner, there is a chat. I think it says chat now or talk now. That is a direct link to me. We can get together and get any information about your mom. Like I said, she's actually already on our list. So having the chance to speak with you would be fantastic. It was not the right time to uh, be giggling. I am, I, I'm sorry. I was, I read a, I read a post. I read something that, that um, Corey said. Um, so yes, you are on the, uh, your, your mother is on the list and we will get to it as soon as, as soon as we're able to get um, out there. Corey said I was an amputee. Corey. That's an amputee. We were friends. <laughs> you and I, we were besties. <laughs> you ruined it, it's done, it's over. Uh, Sherry Rickman, I see that you're on here. It was such a pleasure meeting you yesterday. Yes. Um, the last two or three days, we've had to go to Walmart for something. Now, when we come home, people typically, people do have no idea who I am other than I'm Garrett's mom. People uh, around here, um, they don't know who I am. They don't know what I do. Um, you know, close friends, family, things like that. Hey, but Nick. I stay under the radar, right? Now, when we go to Harrisburg, a lot of people do know Jacob because he's from Harrisburg, born and raised there, went to school there. So, you know, he knows a lot of people, always worked in the area, always says hi to somebody. But the last couple of days, I swear to goodness, the last two or three days that we went, every single day, somebody has come up and said, you're those divers. Or they'll ask Jacob, you're the diver. Oh, again, I could be standing right next to him and people <laughs> have no idea who I am which I'm good with. It's okay. Somebody even had a whole full on conversation with her knowing me and didn't yeah. know she was on the channel. Yeah, I had, I had, I'll tell you guys this story right quick. So I had on a Chaos Divers t-shirt one day. I went to Walmart. I went to, to my local Walmart here in Benton and somebody's like, oh my gosh, Chaos Divers, I love them. Right? My hair was down. I had makeup on. I looked like a person. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, like, and before she was like, I just absolutely love them. Like, they're so fantastic. Like, do you know them? And I was like, I sure do. I have met them. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm, that's just crazy. Like, I just love Jacob and Lindsay. Like, they're so fantastic. I love the, you know, their humor, but how they're, like, just goes on and on and bragging. And I was like, well, if I ever meet them again, I will, I will tell them you said hello. Nick Wren. They had, again, she had no idea who I was. Um, I could be standing with him and people don't know who I am. Uh, but the last few days, we've got to meet some incredible people, um, you know, local hometown people that that know what we do. And it's kind of awesome. So, Sherry, it was a pleasure meeting you yesterday in person. I'm pretty sure, like, Sherry is one of those ones who, like, happy birthday, Merry Christmas. Like, she's always on top of it. So, but it was a pleasure meeting her in, in person. And if you guys, if you guys see us out, like, also, say Adam, hi. Adam and his wife. Uh, yep. Uh, um, and just so you guys know, like there are times when I go out and my hair is down. <laughs> like I have a lot of people who are like, Oh, I, I know your bun. And I'm like, oh, thanks. And then they made my hair. Right. So it is what it is. But yeah. Um, um, you guys did work the Karen Adams case. We have worked and will continue to work the Karen Adams case until Karen Adams is found. Um, that won't, that won't stop. That's probably, in my mind, my most frustrating case. Um, do you know where or from whom Sean was possibly getting the Volkswagen van? No, we do not. Um, this is something that he had talked to a friend about, and they didn't know. Um, uh, no, Cooper didn't say you were an amputee. He said, are you also an amputee, Jacob? He didn't say you are. Hmm. Uh, I got a sunflower seed with no seed. I hate when that happens. That was random. 
Bye, Sonny. There's 400. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys are. Come on, Rooster. That was Matt. No, that was Rooster. Rooster's right there, and Matt was over there. He uh, what are the limitations to dive, like depths, equipment? You still need things like that. So I'm only certified at 65 feet. Give or take a little bit. You, you can go further. But... Um, and then uh, Eric and Jacob are both deep certified. Corey's deep certified. Did Eric get his deep? Yeah, he did, didn't he? I thought Eric got his no, deep certified. No, he hasn't gotten his deep yet. I thought he did it when he got his dry suit. He may have. I don't remember. So not sure if Eric is deep deep certified or not but jacob is for sure i do know that and that gives you up to 130 feet um oh eric said no so sorry i thought you did i thought you but did, we're going like, to well yeah but i thought he did it all at the other and anyway. i get to go with them um when will the next meetup be um we do have some days built in um on our april trip so if we can plan something i think it'll probably be when we're in michigan um and uh, I'm just not sure of the days yet or like where. Ringo exactly. said you were the old waitress at something. Countryside. Um, also, um, Cooper said you're still my best friend, my bestie. Okay. Well, now that I reread your comment <laughs> and actually read what you wrote and not what Jacob said you wrote, we're still besties, Coop. We have a lot of things going on in the next year. I think this year is going to be a very successful year. I think. Um, the advancements that's going to happen in the next few months. It's going to be amazing. Um, the beard is not going anywhere for you all who says cut it. Um, got kind of accustomed to, you know, every morning, like whatever, blow drying and all that. I like it. He blow dries his beard. I do. He puts product in his beard. I do. He straightens his beard. I got him a straightener for Christmas. Do you want to know what I do? Nothing. Brush my hair. Who's more high maintenance in this in this friendship here? Um, Redneck Zombie Apocalypse says, I've got a couple of stories from South Georgia. I bet you do. Uh, my girls still tell everyone about meeting you guys. It doesn't take me more than an hour to get ready, ride or dive. Jeez, it takes 15 minutes. Gosh. 15 minutes per thing you do. So 15 minutes for a shower, 15 minutes to get dressed, 15 minutes to blow dry your beard. Whatever. <laughs> so we're at an hour. Um, I wish I would have got to see. Like, um, again, every case... Um, Every case that we have worked, we will go back and work. It's just a matter of when can we get back there. So if we have worked a case like this, uh, you know, this spring trip that we have coming up, we have three, four, four or five cases that we're actually going back to. Um, Harry Milligan, um, Bonnie Lee Schultz, Karen Adams. Charles Hanlon. Uh, Charles Hanlon. Uh, there's some information or you know a place that they want us to check um uh donald stofko uh, so again it's it is we do go back to everything so i said stephen adams truck was found what is that all about um know. nick wren said he got a foot of snow and another foot coming i don't know i think we've had one foot of snow one time when, oh, when, the when year we that younger. we moved here, y'all had like four or five feet of snow. And I can tell you that because Eric's car got buried in a snowbank. Uh, what parts of Michigan? Uh, we're traveling from north to south. So multiple parts as well as Detroit. You're way behind. Yeah, I know. I've got a lot of questions and you talk too much. Are you coming to Virginia this year? As of right now, we don't have anything scheduled. I know I'm way behind. Like way behind. Well, like said, there's a 30 second delay and you're look, now 80 I'm seconds up. behind. Now I'm up. Okay. We are going to be getting some horrible weather Monday and Tuesday here. It's going to be in the negatives. Um, I've already got everything prepped and ready for the RV so nothing will freeze. Um, I had to replace a plug in that got too hot. 
So we did that. Um, I'm going to take some other precautionary measures to get the RV ready. And then we're heading down with a truck. A smile for Don. Yes, I can. S I saw this one. I saw that you just asked. So, yes, I can see that. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out Nick Wren, check him out. Um, he, do he does have Oregon um, Rescue Team. Uh, if you want to throw the... It's just Oregon. I don't know it. I don't have it. Bah. It's Oregon Dive Team Rescue. Um, I can't remember the exact name. Sorry, Nick. No disrespect. I just can't remember. It's Oregon Rescue Team, I think. Um, Oregon, Oregon Rescue, Rescue Divers. Divers. Yes. Uh, check them out. They they did some awesome work. They're doing some awesome work. Um, uh, Nick Rin's probably one of the best experienced divers in the search and rescue YouTube community um, with training. I, uh, say I would probably be the next one and then Eric and then this one. Well, so. I was going to say, like, so Nick uh, is an instructor. Nick has also made sure, oh, you know. Sorry, Cooper. Yeah, Cooper's, Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> Cooper's right after Nick. Yeah, Cooper's got a ridiculous amount of experience. But Nick has done a lot of continuing education for his, um, you know, for his diving skills. Um, Nick, I forget the exact title, but essentially Nick went and got certified also as an underwater investigator. So, you know, there's a lot of things that we all kind of lean on each other about. Like if I have a question, it was one of my very first, it was supposed to be one of my very first dives and Nick was with us. It was when we were in Pittsburgh and I had asked Nick, um, you know, for his opinion on if I should dive or not. I was a new diver. I had never dove outside of the, the Under, quarry. Underwater criminal investigator. Um, you know, so um, I was... You know, I asked Nick, I said, you know, what do you think? And Nick said, if there was only one obstacle, then I would tell you to absolutely get in the water. But we were going to be dealing with potential for cold, um, multiple hangups, and the potential for a current. And I wasn't experienced enough at that time. So I, you know, I listened to Nick. I took his opinion. Um, and, and I didn't dive that today, or dive that day. I was ready to go. Um, you know, I was half dressed. I was ready um, if they needed it. But... Now she's just diving by herself because I'm just going to throw her in the water in, anymore. Um, in any cases you work, is there any fear of snakes? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Watch the last part of the last video I just posted. Was it the last one you posted? Yeah. So the vehicle that we pulled out of Lake Arthur in Pittsburgh, or just outside of Pittsburgh, uh, a snake went right over my legs and I'm pretty sure Jacob was like oh my god Lindsay and I was like can you just hand me the hook I was ready to just get my work done um so with all with that all being said guys we need your help um you know we can do this um together um it's it makes us more comfortable on the trips with your guys's help with the GoFundMe and the the PayPal whatever on that Guys, we're going down there, and we're hopefully going to bring Ryan home. You guys know and trust us with everything we have done in the past. We need you guys, and I hope to have the help that we need. And, uh, you know, we're going to – regardless, we're going down there anyway. So if i got to max out credit cards to do that, I'll do it. I don't care. Um, so quick – are, are you – I'm good with oh, okay. reading. I, I didn't mean, know. I know it's been. Know, a, we've been like on an recap. hour. Uh, real yeah, real quick recap. Do you, do you want to do the? Real? Um. <laughs> Don't drink it next time. <laughs> Tastes terrible. Okay, so quick recap. Um, we are leaving on Monday. And meeting up with Colton or Colston and Britton. I was trying to add their names as one. Colston and Britton from Depths of History. We are meeting up with them in Columbus, Mississippi. On Tuesday, we will be going to verify that there is a vehicle. And if it, there is, Jacob will be diving it uh, and seeing if it is Ryan. If it is Ryan, 
we obviously will make that announcement to all of you when the time is appropriate. Um, if it is not Ryan, then we will continue to search into Wednesday. From there, we are going to Meridian, Mississippi in the event that Eric's cousin, Sean, did have access to that Volkswagen van that he had spoke of, we do now have the capability of helping because there's a vehicle involved. That is something that um, we're gonna search Bonita Lakes. One half we can do with the boat, the other half we'll do with uh, Little Buddy. And then from there, uh, we meet up with Eric, ride or dive. Um, uh, again, we have something in the works with him, and then we will be home for the weekend. She keeps saying in the works. Guys, it's going to be amazing. Just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm super, we are all super excited. Um, so. And then, again, this weekend, I believe, um, you know, Eric's gotten a lot of, a lot more information, narrowed things down. So I believe Eric will be doing a live stream this weekend updating you guys on everything with Sean. Um, again, just to continue to get the word out. Um, the biggest thing that I have noticed, the biggest asset to these families of missing people are the families themselves. The families being proactive, the families continuing to push the information out there, the families asking for help, asking other people to share that information. The families uh, you know, pushing law enforcement, checking in with them every day, that kind of thing. It's the, you know, the families are, they may not realize it and they may not always think it, but they are their own biggest hope in getting their lost loved one found. So to the families, thank you. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for allowing us to help. Thank you for helping us get the information out there. So um, are you coming back for Harry Milligan? That's actually where we start our trip in April. So um We've got Harry, and then a uh, quick stop in Wapalo. I have a dinner date with Beaver. What? Yeah, Eric and I talked to him. I might let you come. Uh, I like Beaver. And then... I really do. That man is amazing. Um, so, and then... There is the potential that there is a 1969 Catalina in the river right there. So I want to check that real quick. Uh, and then continuing on, a uh, quick rundown of our April trip. I'm not going to go over the cases right now, but we are going to Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, home. Illinois, home. Corey Cooper has been with us. Time and time again. You guys have seen him on the channel. Uh, he is a, an amputee. He is one of the best divers that I have ever been around. He's very <laughs> thorough, which sometimes gets a little um, on the uh, crazy side. But I'd rather him be thorough than miss something. And, uh, you know, with us doing our search and recovery, when we find a vehicle, we've got to go. Um, search super quick, get all the details we can get, and then come up. Um, Corey takes his time, but he's very thorough, and he's very good at what he does. Um, I know Nick said that he'd be down here if he was with us. We would do the same for him. Uh, maybe one of these days we're going to head on over there in that Oregon area and uh, help out with the cases over there in California, stuff like that. When our channel gets bigger, I'm telling you guys, once my channel is stable, when I can say, I don't need help from you guys anymore. If you guys want to donate, amazing. If not, don't worry about it. We are good. I will start helping other, other teams out. I will make that promise. There is also maybe, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it. There's the potential for a special guest joining us on our spring trip. Maybe, hopefully, if we can make it happen. It, and I think that you, you can't guys, invite somebody if I don't know who it I is. I didn't invite somebody. Oh, I think I know who it is now. Um, 
Actually, I do know who it is. Hopefully, it'll come. Hopefully, it will. Uh, if we can make it happen, out. we absolutely one hundred percent. That's a huge surprise. Yeah, I think you and guys. We're not will even going to announce it. All be more than, more than pleased with who it is. Um. So yeah, um, that it'll it'll be a good one. Um. Okay. I think that's everything. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, one more thing. Can I real quick? If my niece Lily is watching, I just want to tell you that I am so incredibly proud of you. My niece Lily is on the high honor roll, which means she her grade point average is between a 4.5 and a 5.0. And she's doing all of that while being a three-sport athlete. So I'm super proud of her. Good job, Lily. So Jacob owed you a present. <laughs> um, with that being said guys all the people that we mentioned everybody's link is in the description um, well it will be in the description I do apologize I, I didn't realize that I was going to go on a tangent on um, advertising for the other channels but I am more than happy to do it and I am I am proud of what they have become and what they have done with us and what they have done on their own so with that being said, we'll go ahead and put it in the link in the description. You guys hit that little more button or the plus button or whatever you got to do. Ringo and Czar has also been probably one of our closest friends in doing this. Hopefully he can meet up with us and, and help out too. Um, yeah, we'll definitely put like Cooper, Nick, Britt. Um, again, Britton and Colson will be with us this week. Uh, Ryder Dive will be with us at the end of the week. Uh, Cooper, Depths of History. Here's Santa, we can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Uh, Cooper and Depths of History will be with us on our spring trip. And... Audio was... I don't know what to tell you. Blame Jacob. He put it on Wi-Fi. Give me two seconds. They said that's an echo. Echo? Somebody said echo. Nick said the audio is getting weird. Audio is cracking. Is it better now? I don't know. You're kicking it. Audio is cracking. Well, if I go off of this, it's going to... Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. I think that's better. Yes? No? Good night, all. Good night. Uh, wrong button. Love you. Bye. I climb inside the submerged car. Audio is fine here. Yes, yes, yes. All right, okay. cool. Grand. Um, what I was talking about, Corey, I, I'm giving Corey a little grief. Um, but no, if it wasn't for Corey, there's a lot of things that wouldn't have happened last, last trip because I was sick. And there are some areas where he dove that I'd have been leery about diving. So he did an amazing job. Okay, with all that being said, guys, we have a week full of craziness. If and when we can go live, we will. To keep you guys informed if we brought Ryan home or not. I think the family would be okay um, with us announcing. Um, when it's appropriate. When it's appropriate, yes. Um, and they are... They need us down there. And since we have some time and... Everything is, everything's a, a go. We're we're gonna go there, and we're gonna help, and we're gonna try to do what we can. Guys, we're gonna get off of here. Um, appreciate all your support. If you guys haven't checked out ChaosDivers.com, that's how you can support. We do have an Amazon wish list that has some stuff that we're going to work towards in 2024 to uh, to better our uh, equipment and to. Help more people, if that makes sense. You guys are going to see a lot of different things, and we're going to talk about different um, different things we're going to start working towards. And uh, it's all the better, everything that we have. So thank you all for sub uh, subscribing and, and joining tonight, talking with us. Let's find Ryan and let's find Sean. I love each and every one of you. Keep diving. It's not where to stop. Love you. Bye.
Gabon.